Today, we're gonna see how do we transfer data from one Android device to another Android device. But first, I want to clarify that there's a way to make a backup on your Android device using Google. However, if you already set up your Android device, there's a way to transfer the data from your old Android to your new Android without having to reset or format. And with that said, let's get into it. Okay, so once we have the two devices ready, I'm gonna transfer the old data from this device to this device right here. And this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna use an application called Copy My Data, which is free. So if we go to the Play Store and then if we go to the search bar and we go like Copy My Data. And whenever we go to the Play Store, we're gonna see that this is the first one we get. So we click on Install. And as you guys can see, it's a very light application and it won't take long to download. Okay, once we have the application downloaded on both devices, we just have to open it up on both devices, right, like this. And you will see that this application is free and there will be some advertisements, so just ignore the ads. And now in this path right here, I have it in Spanish, but what it's just basically saying is to allow access to context, for example. So we allow access to context, calendar, and also to our media, such as uh, photos, videos, and so on. And we do the same on the other device. And once we have allowed all the permits, uh, click on next on this blue button right here. We go next, next. And here, as you can see, there's two options. There's Wi-Fi or Google Drive. You can use a backup from Google Drive or you can either use Wi-Fi. And in this case, we're gonna use Wi-Fi. So we tap on the Wi-Fi button. And now, as you can see, because we are connected on the same network, the Xiaomi has detected the Samsung and the Samsung has did the same. And now we just have to select. It doesn't matter if it's from the Xiaomi or the Samsung or whatever Android devices you have. So just click on select. And now we have to choose whether we want to send the data or receive the data. Because this is the new Android, I want to receive the data from the Samsung, which, which is the old one. And in this case, I will tap on receive data from the Samsung. And now the old device will show a pin. We just have to type in the pin and it's 2370. It's not an important code, it's just for this pairing. And now, as you can see, we have a list of all the things or elements we want to transfer to the new device. But please just make sure that if you have a lot of pictures and videos, it will take longer than expected. So in this case, I would just select contact and calendar. So we click on next and now the transfer begins. And once this is ready, the new device is gonna receive the whole context. In this case, there's like almost 300 contacts and now it's just reprocessing all the data that has received from the old Android device. Okay, so now the transfer has been complete. We have all the context and all the calendar elements from the old device, and then we have all them on the new device. And as you can see, I have all the context from the old device and then the new device. Well, guys, as you can see, the process is very simple. You just need Wi-Fi connection, and then using this application, will allow us to transfer all of our data safely. And with that said, if this video has helped you out, just click the like button and also don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any of my videos. And also thank you guys for sticking with me until the end of the video and I hope to see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.